and gentlemen, the following 140-pound catch weight bout is brought to you by Major League Movers and is set for three rounds of action. Introducing first, he is fighting out of the blue corner, standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 139.6 pounds, with a record of one win and zero losses, and fighting out of John Wayne, martial arts in Plantation, Florida, and representing Bogota, Colombia, he is David the There, like and his opponent statue. fighting Don't out of the red Don't corner, worry. standing at five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, with a record of one win and four losses, and fighting out of Wolfpack South, BJJ in Punta Gorda, Florida. He is Delano. should just call Punta Gorda by its English name, Fat Point. Which, which is kind of uh, oxymoronic. <laughs> to be a point, I, how could one be fat? I would like to fight out of Fat Point, Florida. Here we go, round number one. Delano not looking to touch gloves here. It will be up to Ricochet to, to be out of the way of the strikes that will be coming from the Bogota wow, Bruiser. Talk about an unorthodox style. Yep, trying to draw something nice knee to the body oh, immediately. Beautiful knees from, uh, to the body by Camacho. Yep. Nice oh. head kick as well there. Looking for the grass there. Good job of getting the wizard standing back up. Yeah, make make no mistake about it. Felipe wants to make this into a grappling Beautiful match. ankle pick by yeah. Camacho. Camacho does just that. High guard and there. Again, we, we've talked about it many times, how John Way martial arts uh, started as a kung, kung fu. fu school. Yep. And, and they are kung fu fighters. But if you if you underestimate their ground skills, that will be your undoing. You will be mounted. Um, <laughs> quickly. Good work there, picking the legs. Nice leg kick there from Camacho. Oh, those are stinging leg kicks. Yeah. Oh. oh, good body shot too. I like that. I like whenever you have the option to hit the head, you still go to the body on the ground. Oh, nice. Nice feint again and a pass. Now, now working to a. Advantageous he could have position. the back here. If, if, if Camacho is smart, he could take the back. He could have. Especially uh, with that arm around the head. Yeah, he could take something. Yeah. Or he could take that arm home, to either either he could, or. He could indeed. Or he could really transition into mount if he cut that over. Uh, he's looking like he's angle. looking at that arm bar. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a big juicy one there. Now Philippe works for his underhooks, looking to get half guard here, maybe get to work with a little bit of the uh, old school deep half razzle dazzle. Not there yet. I do know that Philippe favors that. I don't blame him. It's one of my it's my bread and butter move is the old. I'll be danged if it don't work. Deep half. Mm, that don't work. A couple shots there from Camacho on top. Right there on the Autobahn leasing. Long, long time sponsor well, here with XFN. You need a new God, car? Thank God they're not on the actual Autobahn. Oh, oh, those are stinging those shots. Are some, those are some high-speed body shots there from Camacho working some real ground and pound from the standing Yeah, that position. was a major league move. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of major league moves. Shall we? Mm. Oh, oh, those big are shots massive here. shots. And the, and I think Mike Cardoso might be thinking about getting in here and making something happen. Felipe looking to hang on. He's not looking to advance his position very much here at all. Oh, oh. brutal, brutal knee. Brutal knee to the body. Was that to the spine or was that, what, what's going on here? The knee may have hit the kidney, but it was a full exposed back. I think Cardoso is going to give him a stern warning. Now, I don't understand what the what the rule was there. What rule was? was if he hit him in the spine, that's a foul. If he hit him in the kidney, it's questionable. Um, I don't know. I didn't have the viewpoint to see where it landed. That was, uh, that was a stiff knee shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the position working from there, McCardosa could have been thinking about coming in to wave it off. As we learned from the UFC last night, you can just stop a fight when someone's unconscious and call it a, uh, a, a replay check and start it back over. Diving, lunging, teep to the face to restart this round. Not wasting any minutes as the Bogota Bruiser. Yeah, that is an awkward style of Felipe needing to get this to the ground as soon as possible. May have been the actual crane kick. Shout out to all of our Cobra Kai fans out there. I was telling y'all about that two years ago on yeah, uh, YouTube. Yeah. 
walking away. Is Camacho, get back to your feet. This is what I've come to do. Nice, straight left hand there. That oh, landed clean. body shot. Felipe's gonna hang on to survive the round here. Mm. Implementing the will is Camacho. Felipe needs to do some uh, some uh, adjusting in his corner. Camacho showed a fairly good gas tank in his last fight to where three minute rounds may not be sufficient to rope it up. Here's some, just look oh at the auto bind. Speed limitless ground and pound there from Camacho. The Bogota Bruiser really landed some big shots and not afraid to ground and pound the body in that combination and, and, and as well. And you should. If you ground and pound the body, the head will open up. Yeah. If the body's open, Mazel hit it. Again, I take the Nick Dick Night Train Lane, you know, mentality. I will, I will pull you down by, my, by, by your, your eyebrows. Oh, yeah. Pinky if toe I have eyebrows. to, I will punch you in the kneecap. Whatever, yeah. If the body's open, some good body shots there. Not that I know, because I've never been in a fight. But, but you could if punch I the were, I would, I, would, I would punch you in the earlobe. Hmm. I would. In the ear, man. That's I would perfect. Yeah, I mean, look, there's a lot of places to punch a person. <laughs> and Camacho was discovering them all uh, at the end of that first round there. Seconds out, round number two. Looks like we're going to get underway here. Delano, Philippe, and... David Camacho, yet another barn burner MMA action here. Round number two, Sean, underway. Ricochet. The I think there was a touch of the gloves that time. Rick, yeah, ricochet, pumping What are that. those, what are the, what is that? Nice, that was a good left hand is what that was. It, 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 it's puzzling Camacho. Oh, I know what that was. That was a knee up the middle. This one is all but over, I believe. That is all that she is wrote. A beautiful knee right to the midsection. Crumpled up Delano like a paper towel. Man, that was as good and as well placed of a body shot as you were going to see. Yeah, Camacho is a... Yeah, uh, yeah. Felipe back to his feet already, but uh, he was in a bad... Let's let's watch the end of the round here. So the good, that long jab landed a couple in this left hand right here. It's going to find daylight. Boom. Yeah, it did. Put Camacho on his heels and then turn off the cage and... Oh, wait, that didn't... That didn't matter. Oh, that, 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 that left, left hand. Ah, I thought he got up quick from the body shot like that. That was a left hand right, right on the mush. Uh, Seth Felipe Camacho down. is definitely a prospect to watch. Absolutely. He is as fun to watch as you were going to find, Sean. I think we're going to get the official time on this in just a second. Selfies, of course, must take, uh, yeah, well, must take precedence. Always. Uh, always, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, at 16 seconds of round number two, your winner via TKO in the blue corner, D, the Bogota Bruiser, Camacho. Back again with David, the Bogota Bruiser. My friend, we've got to keep meeting like this. Uh, you certainly caused some bruises this afternoon. Um, very awkward style you had a hard time finding, but uh, I love the ground and pound of the body when it was open. Beautiful, always scoring when you can. And then, of course, I thought it was a knee to the body, but it was a reset left hand that took him out there at the end. The ground and pound was a formality. Beautiful display of striking, as always. Been waiting to hear you talk all week, brother. Man, I'm just, I'm feeling really good after my last performance here. You know, I walked out of here with a split decision, and I really felt like I could have done my coaches, you know, a better job. And so I came in here and I told them, really, my goal isn't even to win, but my goal is to perform at the level that you guys want me to perform and do what we've been doing. I saw your bragging. You haven't actually made your coaches mad at you in almost two weeks. Uh, congratulations on that. This guy right here, that's quite an accomplishment, but you gave an excellent account last time as well of your skills and your coaches. But I understand you came to make a statement, and statement made. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Not a problem. Any sponsors? Any? Uh, man, uh, as always, shout out to the XFN family, man. These guys do anything and everything for us. I love them so much. Uh, my coaches, my team, Daniel, Mo, Joey, everyone at John Way, my grandma at home. I know she's watching. And I got a bunch of friends who are meeting up at a, a La Lupe restaurant in Pompano. Shout out to them, too. So all my friends, all my family are over there. Thank you so much. And last but not least, Amanda, my massage therapist. You work wonders. Recovery is important, and hey, shout out to Grandma watching at home. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bogota Bruiser, Mr. David Camacho.